Ah, the French Revolution. A period of undeniable fear and unavoidable death in a country that held what was once among the most established political orders of its time. There's extensive debate as to whether it is a major turning point in history, however, so we must come to our own conclusions. We decided that the French Revolution was indeed a turning point by its ending the age of absolutism, inspiring many other revolutions to come, and giving way to the rise of Napoleon and the conservative international order that followed him. Let's look back to them. Yeah, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got into this situation. Let's rewind. In the latter half of the 18th century, the last absolute monarch of France came to power in a country plagued by governmental bankruptcy, food shortages, and continuously enormous debt, inciting public discontent, particularly among the Third Estate, with some support from more liberal members of the First and Second Estates. This popular dissatisfaction with the contemporary state of affairs, along with the proliferation of Enlightenment thought, would eventually lead to the French Revolution. The suffering regent was none other than Louis XVI, a wonderful family man, a lover of clocks, and a completely incapable ruler. Let's see how he's holding up. What a nightmare. Britain is a constitutional monarchy, and all of Europe seems to be following suit. I am the last one with total power. And if I'm gone, that's it for absolutism in this continent. Oh, bother. I never wanted this. If there's any sort of French Revolution, no, impossible. The only the age of absolutism will last forever. No one revolution could change that. Oh, bother. I'm just going to go back and play with my clock now. Then the French Revolution began. As it spiraled out of control and the threat of death loomed over his head, Louis and his wife Antoinette attempted to escape France dressed as beggars. This didn't go as planned and they were once again caught by the revolutionaries. Under Robespierre, the Jacobins agreed to execute Louis XVI in 1793. Such was the end of the legendary age of absolutism. After that, constitutional monarchies experienced extensive growth throughout the European continent and divine right absolutism never took hold again. Hey, hey, back to me. My revolution was glorious. The world was never going to be the same, not only France, but everywhere, for I offered our help to other grand revolutionaries everywhere. Nobody's taken on my offer yet, but they'll be inspired to follow suit. Anyways, I have something else to attend to. Even after Robespierre's inevitable death, his revolutionary fervor did extend past the borders of France with the 1791 to 1804 Haitian Revolution. That was the first successful slave revolt. Bad McKeeble! Ah, ah, bad McKeeble! Ah, ah, ah. I am sick and tired of these people on my island. I will chase them away. You come here, white man. You come here. I kill you now. Ah. And the Serbian Revolution that established a constitutional monarchy between 1804 and 1835, and the Latin American Wars of Independence that were all mostly incited by Enlightenment thoughts and examples set by the French Revolution. After the French Revolution, the weak and corrupt bicameral directory that was appointed to lead France was seen as a weak point by Napoleon, a French artillery officer. So he performed a coup d'etat and overthrew the French government, eventually crowning himself as emperor. has been overthrown. With this newfound power, I will bring greatness back to France. Because of those who have performed in the revolution, I have been given the power to create a new world order with me at its head, which will last longer than any before. And he did, to a point, claiming vast swaths of territory, most of Europe, before his downfall in 1814. The following Congress of Vienna, spearheaded by Clement von Metternich, 
establish a conservative world order for fear of either a violent uprising like the infamous French Revolution or a warmongering emperor like Napoleon staining the pages of history again. It created a well-maintained balance of power, the likes of which had never been seen before. So the age of divine right rulership has come to a close. Replaced by constitutionalism and more limited monarchies after the fall of Napoleon and the Congress of Vienna. All while nationalist revolutionary vigor erupted across the globe. The French Revolution was indeed a major turning point, as the world would never be the same.